Imagine this. You're crafting the perfect fashion or portrait image, but instead of hours of tweaking and trial and error, you have a model that captures your vision instantly. Today, we're diving into the powerhouse that is Shocker AI's AWP series, an image generation model that's not just innovative but a game changer for anyone serious about fashion and portrait photography. We'll be showing you exactly why the AWP series doesn't just compete but outshines Civit AI by miles. Get ready to see creativity unleashed in ways you've never imagined. Let's dive in. Introducing Shocker AI, the world's largest design-oriented stable diffusion model hub, featuring a wide range of exclusive models suitable for all kinds of image generation. I will put the link in the description. Just head over there and create an account. Once you are logged in, you will find a vast number of stable diffusion models, including new Flux 1, SD3, and more for generating images in various styles and use cases, including fashion photography, architecture and spatial design, illustrations, anime style art, product design, and many more. As I mentioned earlier, today I will talk about how you can generate fashion and portrait photographs with Shacker AI. So, we need to find fashion and portrait photography generator models. After researching a lot, I found that AWP models are the best for generating fashion and portrait photographs. So, we have to find the AWP models. Just search for AWP in the search bar. And here it is, we found all the AW portrait models. Now, you can select one of them to generate the images. Use only the checkpoint model, we can choose the LoRa later. First of all, I am selecting this AW Portrait 1.4 checkpoint model. This is the AW Portrait 1.4 model page, where you can see some of the image examples generated by this model. You can download this model and install it locally, or use the online version. I will go with the online version. Alright, this is the Shacker AI Image Generator platform. Here you can see some of my previously generated images. I already made a video on how you can use SD3 models on Shacker AI. You can watch the video from the I button. Okay, you will find the prompt box at the bottom of the page. Here you have to enter the text prompt. I am entering a ready prompt. You will get all the prompts in the Discord server's prompt guide channel. Link in the description. After entering the prompt, come to the right side settings panel. First of all, the checkpoint model. Here you will find all the checkpoint models. As we already selected a model, I won't change it. Next, the enhanced or LoRa model. I am selecting this one. After selecting the LoRa, adjust the value. You can add multiple LoRas to enhance the generation. Just click on the plus icon from here and set the other LoRa. Once your LoRa settings are done, you will find the reference image. Here you can use any image as the control net. For example, I am uploading this image. After uploading the image, you have to set the reference dimension. For example, I want to use only the pose of the image, so I am selecting the pose. You can use depth map, line art, color, or any other option. You can see that Shacker AI analyzes and creates the anatomy pose of the model. That's impressive. Okay, next, set the image size. As I am using a portrait size image as the control net, I am selecting 2.3 as my image size. You can use any size. Next, the hires fix option. My recommendation is to use this feature, but you can adjust the values of hires fix. After that, set the number of images. Next, in the parameter settings, set the sampler methods, sampler steps, seeds, and negative prompts. I will keep them default and use some negative prompts. In the end, you can add fix face and hand filters. These are very important to avoid generating bad face and hand anatomy. All right, once everything is set, hit the generate button. It will take some time, and here it is. The images are ready. They are very impressive. You can see the quality of the image. It looks like a fashion model image created in a professional studio by a professional photographer. The light, composition, and environment are just amazing. I love it. Now you can enhance the image and customize it with the in-paint and out-paint features from here. I explored all the features in this video. To learn more, watch the video in the description box. Okay. Now I can say that anyone can generate outstanding fashion portrait images with AW Portrait 1.4 and Shocker AI. That's not the only AWP model, there are some other models available as well. Let's try them. To change the model, click here. Once you are on this page, click on the All tab. Now search for the preferred model. I am searching for AWP. And here are all the AW Portrait models. This time, I will select the AW Portrait WW model. I won't change any settings from here. 
To generate the image, I will use the same prompt. To use any prompt used to generate any image, select the image, and then click on the prompt button. And you can see the prompt has been added to the prompt box. Now hit the generate button. And here it is, the newly generated images are ready. And look at them, they are also as good as the first one. It changes many things. Which model generates the best one? Let me know in the comments section. Alright, now let's try to generate some more images with the same settings and the same prompt, but with different AWP models. This time, I am using the AW Portrait XL model to generate the images. And here is the result. In my opinion, these are the best so far. Okay, now let's try the AW Portrait CG model. After selecting the checkpoint model, enter the prompt and hit the generate button. Okay, these are our newly generated images. That's great. Images generated with the AW Portrait CG model look more fascinating. It has a fantasy vibe. Now, if you want to generate an anime style portrait, then you can use the AWP lashing model. With the AWP lashing model, Shacker AI generates images like this with the same prompt. It's just great. So, now you can create any kind of fashion photography images with AWP models on Shacker AI. And most importantly, you have more control over image generation. For example, if you want to generate fashion photography with Civit AI models, then you have to use one of the popular models like Realistic Vision, Juggernaut XL, or Epic Realism. Let's see the difference between image generation quality with these models. First of all, I will use the Realistic Vision model. After coming to the image generation page, I am entering the prompt I use to generate images on Shacker AI. I am trying to keep the same settings as Shacker AI. Once everything is set, I hit the Generate button. These are the resulting images. This image is not even close to any image generated by the AWP model. Alright, now let's try to generate images with Juggernaut XL and Epic Realism. These images were generated with Juggernaut XL, and these were generated with the Epic Realism model. It generates quite good results, but I think AWP generates better results than Realistic Vision. What is your opinion about these images? Who generates better results? Let me know in the comments section. In my opinion, Shacker AI's AWP series of fantastic SD models are more capable than the others. You can see the difference for yourself. All these models are exclusive to Shacker AI. So, it's time to switch from Civit AI. Shacker AI offers unparalleled stable diffusion models. In conclusion, Shacker AI is the world's largest design-oriented stable diffusion model hub, featuring a diverse range of exclusive models distinct from Civit AI. Shacker AI offers a powerful online image generation tool that supports smooth upload, download, and online use of Checkpoint LoRa. You can use it for free but once you join the membership, the member-exclusive models can be used for commercial purposes. Don't forget to try this tool. Link in the description. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of creating images with Shacker AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!